record. And let's go. Let's start with a march and roll those shoulders back. Let's and roll those shoulders forward. Well done, and from here, let's just march it up a little bit more. Excellent. You can jog it up a little bit more, take those knees a little higher, if that is good for you. Excellent stuff. And then bring it down, step it out right, step it out left. Well done, guys. Well done, taking those arms up. Well done, good job. Let's take those elbows together. Some stuff here, then, guys. Well done, take those arms above your head. Let's pull that down. Well done, guys. And then elbows forward. Well done, good job from here. Let's step forward into a leg curl. So pulling those arms back, getting those heels just as high as you can. Well done, guys. Sit. And then step it in. Well done, and jog that up. Well done, guys. And from here, let's go reach. Big stretch. Big stretch. Excellent stuff. Reaching up, warming up through those shoulders, through that back. Well done, and then take it across. Rotate. Through that core. Well done. Looking good there, guys. That's it. And last one of those. Bring it centre. And we're going to jog up and then open the gate left. Jog it up. Open the gate right. Jog it up. Open left. Jog, open, right. Well done. A couple more of these, and then we are going to do a hamstring swing. <laughs> Hit. Well done, guys. Might have done extra ones there for myself. <laughs> Let's kick those legs up. Lovely dynamic swing. Those hamstrings. Pick it up. Well done, good job guys. That's it, last couple of these. And then bring it down just a couple. And take the arms and hands to the outside of those toes. Sit down into those hips. Reach up and add a jump if you'd like to. Last couple. And last one. Excellent. So let's grab our dumbbells. We're going to start with the sumo. So toes turned out. We're going to sit down. Sumo, upright row. Pushing those knees out towards those toes. Lead with those elbows. That's it, guys. Looking good. Push those knees out towards those toes. You keep that going. Just gonna adjust my screen just a little bit. That's it. Well done. So pushing those knees out towards those toes. And lift. Well done, guys. Excellent. Last one of those. Little step up, little shake out. 
we are going to be in that sumo position again. We're going to drop Three, down and two, we are going to hold one. those tummy muscles nice and tight. We're going to do an alternating punch, holding sumo. Well done, guys. That's it. Good job. Well done, guys. Really keep those toe muscles nice and tight. That feeling of pulling those ribs down towards those hips. Tummy muscle towards that spine. Punch. Well done, guys. Excellent stuff. Here comes our last couple. Excellent. Last one of those. Step it up. Shake out. We are going to be in sumo again. Dumbbells just held in the front. Three, so knees two, tracking towards the toes. Sit down. We're going to lift one heel, then other heel. If you'd like to lift both heels, of course you can. But if you want to alternate, one and sit just as low as you can in that sumo. Well done guys, that's it. Well done. Lift and one heel or both heels. Well done guys. Depends how good your balance is really. <laughs> both heels definitely if balance is reasonable. Last one of those dumbbells down. So we are gonna take the arms up, either jump it back, walk it back, come squat, and then take it up again. So let's go, arms up, and stand, come squat, take it up. You can add a little jump option, walking it back, come into a squat, either reach or jump it up. So squat reach take it back and you guys take it just as fast as you would like to squat after that little squat thrust and reach or jump it up so squat reach excellent stuff well done guys I'm going to take my Sweater off as quick as possible. We're going to be split stance. Next, right leg forward, left leg back, and we're going to circle those dumbbells up and around. Bending through that rear knee. Much as you can, keeping those tummy muscles engaged. Up and around. Well done, guys. Great job. That's it. Well done, looking good, guys. Excellent. Last one of those. Step it up. Check it out, we're gonna do a deadlift next. So feet hip width apart, push back into those hips, let those dumbbells run down the outside of the leg, drive it up. So remember that torso comes parallel to the floor or a little higher and only because we are pushing back into those hips. So you can have stiff knees, or a slight softness in those knees. Making sure those dumbbells come down outside of those legs, probably to about shin height. And that's it, pushing back. Well done, guys. And don't take that torso too low, as you lose that posterior chain workout then. Excellent, last one 
of those shake those legs so we're going to come left leg forward right leg back bend through the knees kind of find through the balance we're going to hold this position we're going to come hammer curl that's it guys that's it looking good Find in that point of balance and dig through that rear knee. Well done, guys. Well done. Good. Well done if it's feeling too easy. See if you can drop into it a little bit more. Squeeze into those biceps. You can always add in a couple of pulses. Last one, step it up, dumbbells down, we are going to do hop hop squat or bounce bounce squat, so either bounce bounce into a squat or with me hop hop squat, hop hop squat, so you choose whichever is going to work for you, hop hop squat. Or if you want to take the impact, bounce, bounce, and still sit down for a squat. So bounce, bounce, squat, bounce, bounce, squat. Any knee issues, I'd probably go with the bounce, bounce, and then a squat. That's it, guys. Well done. Excellent. Well done. Good job grabbing our dumbbells. We're going to come dumbbells either side, lifting up onto the toes if we can. We're going to squat. So, option keep the heels on the floor, sit back into those hips. But if you can, come on those toes, come on those toes, so, up on those toes, and sit just as low as you can. This is going to be a bit more wobbly because we've introduced a balance challenge. Sit. Three, two, well done. One. Last one of those. Shake those legs out. We're going to keep the dumbbells either side of those legs. We're going to come squat narrow, step out wider, step it narrow, and then other side. So with me, let's go squat narrow, step it out, squat wide, narrow, step it out, wide, squat. Mm. Wide, narrow, excellent guys, well done, looking good, well done, remember push back into those hips, keeping that head up, chest up, Well done, guys. Excellent. Last one of those. Dumbbells down. Shake those legs out. Keep it moving. Have a sip of a drink. Our next round is going to be, broadly speaking, predominantly upper body and core. So the first few exercises are going to be standing, and then we come to the floor. So if you want your mats close by, get them ready. Well done guys, I'm just going to put mine down so it is ready. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds. We're going to grab those dumbbells, tummy muscles nice and tight, feet hip width apart. Push back into those hips, and we are going to come neutral row. So 
We're lifting that tummy button towards that spine. Pull, lead with those elbows. If you feel you've got any imbalances in those arms, I take it separately. Pull. Well done, guys. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Good guys, that's it. Keep that torso nice and still. Keep those tummy muscles engaged. Three, two, Excellent. One. Last one of those. Little shake out if you'd like to. We're going to be in the same position. We're going to come fly to row. So we've got about five seconds. So push it back into those hips. Lead with those elbows out to the side and then pull elbows towards the back again, keeping those abdominals beautifully engaged. That's it, pull. That's it, guys. So pull, lift, pull, lift. Well done, guys, that's it. Looking good. Well done. Squeezing back through those shoulders. Excellent stuff. Last one of those. We are going to do a seesaw row next. So, sitting back into those hips, we are going to alternate. Stand nice and strong through those tummy muscles. Let's push. Push and pull. Really connecting with those tummy muscles. That's it. Now, if it feels too easy, of course, grab yourself a bigger dumbbell. <laughs> or maybe it's not so easy. <laughs> That's it. Pull. Pull. Excellent stuff, guys. Well done. Um, really good job. Here's our last few seconds. Doing great, guys. Three, two, Four. One. <laughs> last one of those. Check those arms out. We're going to come plank position for a slow mountain climber. Next. Mm. Sit with me. Bring down plank position and then pull those knees. Through. So, staying nice and strong through those toe muscles. That's it. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. Well done, guys. Doing a great job. Pull those knees through. That's it. Brilliant stuff. Got about 10 seconds. We're going to be standing up after this one. So brief push back. Let's come standing up. Grab those dumbbells. Neutral stance, staggered stance. We're going to do hammer curl push and tricep extension. So hammer curl. Push, tricep extension. Lower it down. Well done, guys. Keep a slight squeeze into those glutes. Doing a great job, guys. That's it. Lower it. Come a curl. Push. And really kind of slow it down so each move does feel like a separate move. Mm. Push. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. We're going to do tricep kickbacks next. So dumbbell one hand, soften through the knees, fold over, arm up, and then extend mm. from the 
elbow keeping that upper arm nice and still. <coughs> Excuse me. Well done, guys. Great job. Extend it back. Get ready. Change it over. So other side, same thing. Arm up. And then extend from the elbow. Well done, guys. Great job. Sit. Last few seconds. Excellent stuff. Well done. And then we are going to be back down on the floor. We are coming. Tricep. Sit. So feet out in front of us. Hands pointed towards the heels at the bottom. Lift those hips. Bend at those elbows. Lower and lift. So here, option, come to your bottom and through those elbows. Lower it down. Push it back up. You can go as wide across that chest as you can. And through those elbows. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. We've got just about 10 seconds, doing a brilliant job. Keep that going, guys. Brilliant, brilliant job. Three, Last two, one. one. Cross those legs, shake those arms, just move in and out. So that just a rest off for a moment. We're coming for a crab touch next. So we're going to be in that same position. And we're going to reach. <laughs> opposite hand, opposite toe, doing the very best that we can. So, lift. Well done, guys. Lift. Excellent. Well done. Remember, option here. You can come to the floor, lift one toe. Then the other, and it's a bit challenging to reach for the toes. Just reach, mm. just as far as you can. Mm. Excellent stuff, well done guys. Brilliant, uh, I keep those in because they are hard, but we do seem to get better at them. <laughs> We're gonna roll it down, find that neutral position, take the arms up, mm. uh, nice and close to those shoulders. We are going to bend from those elbows. So bringing those dumbbells down either side of those ears. Pulling the ribs down. And again, keeping that back in that neutral position. And keep those toe muscles are engaged. And keeping the upper arm just as still as you can. Lower, lift. Well done guys, great job. Excellent stuff. Well done guys, let's roll it up. Pop those dumbbells around one side. So we're gonna do a press up. I'm gonna come off my knees, so I'm gonna give myself a little more cushioning. And we're gonna come narrower stance, bend at those elbows, lift tummy button towards that spine and staying just as strong as you can through that core. Obviously those arms are going to get a bit of a workout and thinking chest to If you can, come on those toes. Do not be limited by me. Hum to those toes. <laughs> well, the guys, last one of those. Let's push back. Briefly rest it off. So that is round two complete. We are going to be on the floor. 
for everything else, but just come up and have a sip of a drink. Just keep it moving just a little bit. I think I'm just going to adjust my screen. Just a little bit. Let's get ready. Let's come down to the floor. We're going to have feet on the floor. Tuck our pelvis under, roll it back. Walk the feet a little closer, tuck the chin in. We're going to reach each heel. So reach, reach, reach. Really working through those obliques. And you can really exaggerate that side side movement, reach, 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 well done guys, well done, tucking that chin in, reach it down, and of course if it feels too easy you can always walk those feet a little further away, in addition to really exaggerating through that move. Excellent stuff. Well done. A quick hug in. Hands behind those knees. We're going to come seated position. So, with or without our bell, we are going to come a bleak twist. So, option without the bell. Cross those arms and really focus on that rotation coming from those tummy muscles. So rotate. Sometimes the dumbbells can get in the way a little bit. We just want to make sure that we are rotating from those tummy muscles. And the shoulders are following. Rotate. Pulling that tummy muscle in. Well done, guys. Well done. We've got a few seconds left. Excellent. Last one of those dumbbells to the side. Oh, excuse me. We're going to roll it down across the legs, arms out to the side. We're just going to roll over to the point where we feel those tongue muscles kick in. And we're going to do small pulses away. So taking it just as far as you feel comfy. Legs slightly over to one side, so crossed, slightly over one side, little pulses, and then come back to centre and take it other direction. Push away. Come on, guys. Push, push, push. Take it just as far as you feel comfy. You should feel that through those obliques. Back to centre, unhook those legs, hug those knees. Well done, guys. Excellent. We're going to stay kind of on the floor, lifting the head to shoulders. We're going to come opposite elbow to opposite knee. So really thinking here, like trying to lift those shoulders up towards those legs and extending those legs. As you comfortably feel you can. Brilliant stuff, guys. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Elbow. Well done. Great job, guys. Yeah. Excellent. We've got a last few seconds. Three. Excellent. Two. Let's hug those knees in. Gently, gently take that from side to side. So we are going to grab our dumbbells, feet to the floor. We're going to tuck that pelvis back. Roll up into that bridge. Hold the bridge. Dumbbells above our chest. Arms to the side. And squeeze across the chest. Come back. Four flies. Lifting. 
through those hips just as much as you can. Well done, guys. On the other side, lift. Well done. So the higher you lift those hips, the more you should feel those glutes contract, tighten up. The closer your feet to your bottom, the more those glutes will engage. The further the feet are away, the more the hamstrings will engage. Last one, roll it down. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. Just rest off for a moment. Just going to move down. We're going to do a bridge to pull over. So staying in that bridge position. Thumbbells up above your head. Take them back behind your head. So lower. Resisting the flare of the ribs here. Lifting those hips. Keeping those ribs top down. And take those bells just as far behind your head as you can. Pull back over towards the tummy bottom. Last one of those. And just roll it down again momentarily. We are going to be in bridge position again. And we're going to do bridge to rest. Well guys, so pushing those dumbbells towards the ceiling. If you want to add a little movement through those hips, you can lower those hips just above the floor as we bring the dumbbells down and then lift root those hips. Well guys, great job doing a great job. Well done, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Did a fabulous job. Here's our last Three, couple. Two, and then one. roll that down. Dumbbells to the side. We're going to hug those knees in. Hands behind those knees. And we're going to come plank position. And we're going to step one foot out one side. And other side. So step it out one side, then other side. If you want to take that up, of course, you can jump that and both feet out to one side and then other side. If you want to jump it up. Well done, guys. Doing a brilliant job. Well, last one of those push back. Briefly through that child's pose. We're going to stay kind of plank position on those hands. And we're just going to rock forward and back on those toes. Lifting that tummy button towards that spine. Moving forward and back, staying nice and strong through those toe muscles. Doing a great job, guys. If you need to reset, reset any stage. Come on, guys. Take it forward. Last one of those, let's push back into that child's pose. We have one more exercise. So we are gonna come forearm plank, elbows underneath and shoulders, push back into those toes. And we're gonna drop one knee and then other knee. Really staying as stable as you can through those tummy muscles. 
I'm embracing those tummy muscles of this modern uh, push back one knee brace through that core we really want to be feeling this through those abdominals you are going to feel it through those shoulders as well excellent stuff well done guys last few three and three, last one. couple Knees down, let's push back into that child's pose, head down, stretch those fingertips away, stay in that position. We're gonna find us some stretchy music, so bear with me while I do that, find that stretchy music. Enjoying that child's pose. Let's come back. So, from this position, let's stretch those fingers a little more forward if we can. Rise up onto those fingertips, feeling that stretch down through those shoulders. Hold it there for a moment and then come palms flat to the floor. And then from there, walking those hands. Uh, right hand out to the right side, left hand on top. Pulling back against the floor, looking back underneath your shoulder. Take it forward again. Sit that bottom back, stretch those fingertips away. Nice big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, and then Left hand down, left side, right hand on top, pull back against the floor, looking back underneath your shoulder. And taking those arms forward again, stretch it out. Let's see if we can take those arms wider, stretch it out and just reach just as far as you can. Bring that forehead down to the floor. And then from here, let's come through that four point kneeling, come on to our tummies. One hand out in front. We're gonna reach for our opposite heel and hug that heel towards that bottom. Stretching through those glutes and relax through those hips just as much as you can. And switch arms, switch legs. Well done, guys. That's it. And release those arms and legs down. Bring those hands just by those shoulders. We're going to stretch into that lower back. So option, just coming on to the forearms having kind of baby cobra or onto the hands and lift just just as high as you feel comfy well then guys let's bring that down let's take those hands front we're gonna bring right knee up by right hip just relax that down a bit And then bring that down and slide that left knee up in line with that left hip. Again, just relaxes that lower back off. And then slide that back down. We're going to lift that tummy button towards that spine. Push up through the heels of the hands. Come into four point kneeling. So here, yeah, let's come stretch just bring it back to neutral so not straight into the cow lift as much as we can through those shoulders into that cat stretch lift 
last one of these and then separately we're going to try and hold the upper body nice and still and tuck that pelvis under so tuck it under feeling like you're trying to pull the hips up towards those ribs stretching into that lumbar spine looking good there guys Last one of those, just bring those knees together a little bit more if you feel like it. We're going to tip the hips one direction and other direction. Take it just as far as you feel comfy. So, go across one direction. Well done, guys. Excellent. Last one of those, we're going to do a hip flexor stretch next so I'm going to give myself a bit more padding underneath my knees going to keep my uh, left knee on the floor bring my right foot forward curl the left toes under tuck that left buttock under and feel the stretch through that left quad release it down and again squeeze and release so squeeze through that glute tuck it forward Release it down, last one this side, squeeze, release, bring that down, we'll do a different hamstring stretch, so bring it down, take this time left leg forward, curling through those right toes, squeeze through this glute and tuck that pelvis forward so you get a nice stretch through those hip flexors, release it down, squeeze, tuck. So one more, release it down, squeeze, and tuck. Let's do one more. Squeeze, and release. Excellent stuff. Well done, guys. Let's come round onto our bottoms. We're going to do seated hamstring stretches. Legs in front of you, pointing those toes back towards you. Up. Let's take those arms up, inhale, lift, reach long, so thinking diving long, head up, chest up, reach those legs if you can, or those toes, let's go again, inhale, reach it forward, and one more, Walk those toes back towards you, reach, reach, reach. A little movement here, so reach, alternating, little like swimmers, pointing those toes back towards you, and then take that left leg, take it over that right leg, arm, pass it arm around, point the toes back towards you, pulling this knee towards your chest, well then you can progress it and rotate round, but any sciatic issues, just keep it facing forward. Well done, let's release that leg down. Just a little tuck in here. A little play with that knee. Reach. Right hand, down for toes. Take left hand and reach up and over to stretch through that back. Bring it back up over. Hold on to those toes still if you can. Slight rotation here. Look at that underneath that elbow. One more of these. Other side. You take it just as far as you feel. Let's come. Have string. Stretch again and then take that right leg. Cross that left leg. Hug it in. Opposite arm. Stretch. So again, if you do want to progress it and rotate round, you can. Well done, guys. And then release that leg. Let's tuck that leg into that left leg. A little play with that knee here. Just open up through the hip a little bit more. Left hand on the toes. Reach up and over. Stretch. Just as far as you feel comfy. Bring it back up. Reach up and over. Looking up underneath your arm here. Slight rotation through that torso. Oh, nice. Reach, taking it just as far as you can. Excellent stuff. 
Well done. Let's come loosely cross-legged for some upper body stretches. Clasp those fingers together, head down. Arms behind, lift through that chest. Well done, guys. And let's take one arm across. Another arm across. Well done, stretching through those shoulders. And do one more bend at the elbow, lift, stretch through those triceps. And again, other side. Well done, guys. Let's bring those hands down, swing it round. Let's come through that four point kneeling, lifting that tummy button towards that spine. Lift, push the weight, heels of the hands, heels of the feet, and then lift one heel. Then the other, walk the hands back towards the toes, tuck the head as close to those knees as you can. Inhale, lift it up and come in to backward shoulder rolls. Brilliant stuff. Let's roll it forward. Excellent. Let's turn those toes out and we're going to do some dips, arm circles. So, here, inhale here, well done guys, last one of these, give yourselves a huge round of applause, I really hope you feel as though you have had a good workout, and thank you for joining me.